What is the deal, you guys? Jay with Exotic Get here coming at you guys. Obviously, you can tell uh, by the thumbnail, uh, we're spooling up today. Uh, I had a huge major backlash, which if you used uh, the, uh, reels like bait casters, you know, backlash and buying new line uh, is, is always really prevalent, more so than any. But uh, just that's not to say that you should never uh, always check your line, always make sure you got new line and stuff like that. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it, man. I'm gonna show you guys how to spool up. I have some Trilene Berkeley, uh, some XL Smooth Casting, uh, 12 pound line. Uh, this is just because uh, I'm kind of, you know, spring's coming up, a lot more aggressive feeding. Uh, you know, those big guys are really coming up, feeding shallow, and they're really on the hunt and stuff like that. So, you know, 12 pound line, I'm not going for anything small. And, you know, even if he is small, I can just both flip him right in onto the bank. But, um, so yeah, we're going to go teach you how to spool up. You want to come in closer for me, cameraman? Uh, one thing I learned when people told me uh, when you spool up, with, when you're using mono, mono tends to retain a lot, a lot of memory. Memory meaning it's going to keep that same circle fold. If it's on this coil like this, what do you think it's going to do on a smaller coil? As a matter of fact, tried and true example, those small little circle coils, you know, uh, mono retains a lot, a lot of memory. Sorry if you hear a lot of noise in the background. But anyway, so make sure when you're spooling, you're not spooling your line on to go backwards. If you're doing it this way, you're peeling it off this way, your line will come off backwards. It'll, all that stuff, like people don't realize it, but little things like that make the difference in how your bait moves. Hold on, give us a minute here. Before I was interrupted, um, like I said, uh, you wanna go ahead and make sure that your line is being spooled on correctly. Uh, like I said, this is that maximum uh, manageability, uh, smooth casting, man. Trilene, I love XL smooth casting, man. That's just kind of what I got for my start with. My Black Max, you see here. Uh, Want to keep you some pliers or scissors? Uh, preferably these these pliers are crap, so that's why I got scissors. So come in a little bit for me. You don't have to go through the guides first because you're gonna be cutting off the the excess line. I mean, if you want to go through the guides first, that's completely on you. But this is kind of how I'm doing it. Let's try to get it. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab that line. When you can't grab that line, that's what these pliers and these scissors, not necessarily scissors, but these pliers come in super handy for. So you've spooled your line through, I don't know what that's called, but it, it eaves it back and forth. Nick the line a little bit, it's all right. You're gonna go directly underneath that spool. And you're gonna need to grab those pliers. Alrighty you guys, so like I said, you wanna get about to right here. You wanna get to this point where you stuck it through the the winder and you're about right here with it. Um, I was rudely interrupted by my hairdresser's last sister and I, uh, she came and did my hair. So, um, like I said, you uh, when you're spooling, because we're using mono, uh, one more time we'll clear it up. Make sure you're front spooling and all, don't spool it on backwards. Like I said, it retains a lot of memory and uh, it'll, it'll make your crankbaits, you'll see it mainly in your crankbaits, they won't run uh, properly. Uh, so if you wanna get in here for me. Xavier, Stace. Um, so, like I said, we're, we're right here, and we wanna take that, where our spool is, get on, on this side for me. Come on, no, this way, this way, this way. If you can see where that, our mono line is. So with those pliers, we get in there and we want to retrieve our line. You can grab it with your hand too if you need. Retrieve our line like that. And typically, I uni. And that's just me. Uh, I do, you know, about four to five times around. Get that right quick. Two. And uh, if you're just opening your uh, line pack or you're, you're just coming to the end of that spool, uh, that little stamp that keeps the line down definitely will keep the line down on um, on your spool if you were to, you know, definitely use it. So definitely you could use that for sure. So I went around six times, looped around, and then I'm going to twist it off and try to go the opposite way in which that I came out the first. And it's just to make it just a little bit more offset, just to give me a little bit more confidence in that knot. 
and uh, boom. And so here's here's um, here's you know where our line's gonna be spewing from. Here's that tag in. We just wanna tighten, tighten, tighten. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Tighten, boom. Right there in the middle. We got it right there through our spooling spot. Take off that tag in. Sometimes you gotta watch it because sometimes your, your knot will be loose, but that one's a pretty solid knot. Right there, and we're gonna take our tag in. If you can pull your tag in and it becomes loose, you're not definitely by no means tight enough. And I, unfortunately, I don't have a sticker, but it's all right. And then we just spool away. And uh, I'm gonna set the camera right here for you guys. Again, this is a Trilene XL uh, smooth casting. Uh, it's um, a 12 pound mono fill. <coughs> Typically, uh, uh, you know, I've only been into bass fishing for about a year. Uh, I typically don't do too, too much fish talk, and I'm, I definitely want to get into it more because I feel like I, I can offer something to the people who are more novice level than I am. Um, you know, I've only been fishing for a year, man, uh, amateurly, and you know, it's it's probably been one of the most amazing, amazing times, you know, like amazing pastime, man. Uh, be careful when you're spooling, man. We wanna make sure that spool is extra, extra tight. So please throw off any excess line, tighten your centrifugal brakes up and uh, tighten your tensioner up. You know, if you're not getting that super, super tight line or loosen, you know, to whichever, you know, is needed. But we definitely want to make sure when we spool, we're spooling tight line. But um, anyway, so, you know, as I, you know, get better and better as an amateur angler, man, um, you know, I find what works. I found that, you know, as a as a fisherman, as an angler, um, <clears throat> a lot of things, of course, every piece of tackle is, you know, there's no one trash lure. You know, don't get me wrong, there are some bad products out there, but there's no one trash lure. There's no one trash line. All these different styles of braids and weights and, and styles and techniques to fish and why you throw braid here and you know all this comes down to preference man and, and what you do and how you do it so guys that are out here throwing super super expensive lures don't get mad at them that they're spooling up with you know 20 to 50 pound braid and also throwing you know cigar 15 pound 25 pound fluoro leader like don't be mad at that you know that's that's because they want the advanced of light line angling uh fluoro you know sinks and is almost invisible and uh and you know it, it doesn't get nicked as bad but they also want to have that super super strong braid in case they get you know caught up and hung up that they can yank away freely and don't have to risk uh you know uh getting rid of a sometimes 12 or 13 dollar lure you know so that's just a little bit of that. Uh, the more I get into fishing, man, the the more experienced I become. You can never know everything in the world of fishing, man. Uh, you'll, you'll always be learning, man, all kind of different styles and techniques and, uh, you know, ways to fish and bait casters and spin casters and why you use this, why you use that. All these things play a factor, bro, and I, it's it's... I can't stress it enough, you know, for my young guys that are watching, for my guys that, you know, or even the older guys that, you know, are a little bit more novice level, more entry level, uh, you know, it's it's all for a reason. See, that's a super, super spool. The reason why I'm super spooling this is because I don't do too too many very aggressive, aggressive uh, casts, so I'm not worried about losing too many lines, but I typically tie on and off a lot because this is my main pole. So that's why I'm spooling up heavy duty, and I think that's my last, uh, my last um, line that I have, so I'm just spooling up the rest of it, you know. But um, yeah, man, just some of my tips and techniques to you guys, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 
Leave a thumbs up if you want to see more fishing tips. I'll teach you how to tie a knot. I'll teach you how to tie, you know, the, the styles of things that I do. Anything that I know, I can teach you guys if you guys are open to that type of deal. Uh, this is Exotic Ed. This is what I do on my channel, Exotic Education. So if you like stuff like this, man, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments, man. Jay with Exotic Ed. I love you guys. I'm out.